we got to get to in the forecast. Starting right now, it's pretty warm out there, and that is not what you want leading up to a severe weather event, which is what we're going to have tomorrow, much like the event that we had last week. 78 right now in Birmingham and Tuscaloosa with sunshine out. Already have a flash flood watch in effect for Coleman County and all the areas farther north up in the Huntsville television market. No rain out there right now. We are watching some storms develop along the Gulf Coast. This will be lifting up to the northeast later tonight. Starting at around 10 p.m. is when we'll start to see storms begin to move into the area, but those will probably not be severe until this gets here. Here's tomorrow's storm maker, this upper level low over the west coast, right? Well, desert southwest right now. Tracking over to the east, this will give us enough lift and shear in the atmosphere. On top of that, Gulf moisture, all the ingredients we need for severe weather tomorrow. It's a moderate risk. That's a four out of five. On the scale for a large chunk of central Alabama up into the Tennessee Valley over into Mississippi. Of course, that includes a large chunk of us. That includes Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Jasper, Coleman, Fayette. All of us potentially looking at strong tornadoes of the long track variety that could be on the ground for a long time, potentially 70 mile per hour to 80 mile per hour wind gusts, and maybe even some baseball sized hail within the strongest storms. Let's take you through the future cast. Once again, starting at around 10 p.m. tonight, the warm front will gradually lift northward and we'll start to see storms develop. But these will not be severe. Uh, if anything, these will just have heavy rain, maybe some pea sized hail, and some brief strong wind gusts. But again, not going to be severe. Overnight tonight. But as more fuel begins to come in from the south, the atmosphere will gradually turn more and more unstable. Starting as early as noon tomorrow, we really need to have our guard up because any of these storms that pop up could go supercellular and turn tornadic very quickly. Here's 2 p.m. A lot of these storms impacting our northwestern counties uh, early in the afternoon. And then the storms could start popping up basically anywhere within our viewing area at around 4 p.m. Notice here we got two of these supercells, very similar looking setup to what we saw last week where we had 21 tornadoes that developed across central Alabama. That threat will continue through around 9, 10 o'clock. Here comes the cold front. Once the front moves through, we're pretty much in the clear. Uh, after midnight, the storms pretty much wind down. So once again, everybody needs to be on guard starting after around lunchtime tomorrow through around midnight tomorrow evening. So here's what you need to do. If you haven't done so already, download the free CBS 42 News app and turn on the weather alerts. Those will notify you as soon as a watch or a warning is issued for your area. Make sure all your devices are charged up as well. In the event that you lose power, you need to make sure that all the batteries are working properly and fully charged up. And know where your tornado safe spot is. That is an interior room away from doors and windows. As many walls between you and the exterior as possible. Your full seven-day forecast is going to stay pretty sunny and warm once we get past these storms Friday, but a few more storms are going to be possible over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So once again, if you haven't done so already, download the free CBS 42 News app. Scan that QR code with your phone now. That'll pull up the app store, and you can download the, once again the free CBS 42 News app, which now has weather forecasts and weather alerts on it.